Hello, Shanghai. My name is Radio. Uh, we are here at Mao Live House here in Shanghai, China, and I am joined by captives all the way from Australia. How are you guys doing today? Yeah, very good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you're right. Yeah. Uh, everyone's good. Yeah. Everyone's yeah. Great. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Good to be here. Uh, first of all, uh, why, why don't you guys introduce yourselves? Hey, uh, my name's Cam. Uh, we are captives from Melbourne, Australia. Uh, we've been playing music together for almost 10 years, uh, and we started uh, touring Asia about four years ago. Uh, it's our first time in China, and we are so happy to be here. All right, thank mm. you. We're happy to have you here. All right, let's uh, introduce everyone. Okay, go ahead, bro. Uh, my name is Mitch. I'm on guitar. Cam is also on guitar. Uh, oh, guitar. The vocals, Aaron, Margie is on the bass, and <laughs> Maddie on the drums over here. <laughs> yeah, Aaron, I'm the vocalist, so um, yeah, just stoked to be in China, really, for our first time, but um, yeah, that's about it, really. <laughs> I'm Margie, hi, I'm the new recruit, I play bass, supposedly. <laughs> yeah, and uh, stoked to be in China. Uh, yeah, I'm Matt, I play drums, hit things, bang things. Uh, I think everyone's introduced themselves like five times now, so <laughs> pass it back to you. <laughs> All right, thank you for the many introductions, appreciate it, appreciate it. Um, I, I want to just ask you a little bit about your music. Can you tell me about your genre and what it is you guys do? Yeah, we, uh, we kind of call ourselves like rock punk. Yeah. Instead of, of punk rock, it's like rock and punk, punk and roll, something like that. It's a mixture of punk, with rock, you'll do. You will find some kind of country sort of twang in some of our songs, even though we don't listen to country. It just kind of comes <laughs> out, and some of I think Mitch's guitar tone helps us with that. Playing a, a yeah, Fender Telecaster, but we do play uh, sort of a mixed bag of rock and roll to heavy, heavy rock, heavy punk. So we we kind of like to change it up and give uh, people a wide variety of of things to listen to. Wow, yeah. all right, interesting, interesting. Um, and uh, speaking of that, um, I saw that recently, uh, a little earlier this year, you put out a song with uh, Rio Kishinita, yeah. um, uh, formerly of uh, Crystal, Crystal Lake. Lake, Crystal Lake. Currently, that, currently knows <laughs> Cur Okay, okay. So uh, what was it like working with him? And uh, at the same time, uh, how, how did you guys meet? Well, actually we kind of, we did a show in uh, Tokyo last year. And um, funnily enough, Mitch was just following random people on Instagram from Japan and they, he found a guy that sells coffee beans um, who was also um, a tour manager for Crystal Lake. Uh, so he came to our show and we just kind of hit it off from there and then um, it was just, yeah, we were in the studio this year and it was like, well, let's get Rio in to do this, this part of the song. So I was like, oh, yeah, hell yeah. so awesome, such a professional. Like, yeah, he's the best in the biz at what he does. So I'm a huge fan. So it was sick getting to work with him. <laughs> yeah, Mar Margie's right into a heavy bands as well. So it's like, you know, we're all stoked to have Rio on board. And um, yeah, Gnosis is smashing it now. So yeah, keen to catch up with him next week in Japan as well. Oh, that's right. Cause you said uh, you'll be actually playing with him next, next week in yeah. Japan, right? Actually, he'll be on stage with you guys. Wow, amazing. I'm a little nervous. nervous. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I keep saying I'm going to bring kangaroo over from Australia, so I just bought little bits of kangaroo in a bag to eat. <laughs> <laughs> kind of like kind of like beef jerky, but you know beef jerky? Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. Of course. Kangaroo jerky. Kangaroo, yeah, yeah. Roo jerky. Roo, Roo jerky. jerky. <laughs> I like in America. Uh, like America. That sounds a little naughty when you say it like that. <laughs> a, lot, a lot of pouncing, you know, a lot of hopping. Okay. Um, uh, Y'all just put out an album in uh, 2022, is that correct? Uh, w w when can we expect uh, maybe uh, some, a new album? Is, are you working on something? Well, at the moment we've been releasing, working on singles. It's a bit shorter, easier to put out and keep releasing music. Uh, but yeah, we're hoping to work on some new music next year. We've been writing a lot of demos and working in the room, so we've got definitely some new music coming out. No, we're not sure what form it'll be in, but we would definitely like to put out an album in the next year or two. Okay, oh, excellent, excellent. Um, so I, I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about branding. Um, you know, y'all been in the business for over 10 years, right? Just about, just about 10 years, over 10 years. Um, I wanted to know, um, uh, has it been difficult to kind of separate yourself from some of the other captives that might be out there floating around, you know? Ah, yes. Maddie. Maddie. <laughs> I feel like I know where this question's going. <laughs> um, hey, this is before my yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, we haven't really, like, I guess we've never, like, addressed it uh, on social media or anything like that, but I think you're referring to the, 
captives, captives, clash of names. Um, yeah, no, we like that band's doing really well. Like they, I think they just toured Australia uh, yeah, under a sick music. under yeah. a new name, Casket. So um, yeah, it was it was purely just two bands uh, going at it, like trying to make a, a decent name of themselves. And um, I guess when you're both doing lots of cool things, you're going to clash with and like touring. people touring and yeah. Um, so that was about as complex as it needed to be. Um, we, we we would turn we, it up to shows yeah. in like Japan and it'd be like. Um, there'd be there'd be their poster would be at our gig and I had friends going to gigs in London that thought they were coming to see us that were paying to go to their gigs <laughs> so it was just like well let's change this now because there can't be two captives in 2023 it probably worked back in the 80s when like there wasn't social media and you know you probably had to catch a boat to go somewhere um, but or whatever you know like you're a long you know it was a long way away it worked back then but not yeah. ne- not now yeah. so um, what advice would you have for some uh, new bands kind of trying to decide on a name? Do you have any advice for uh, for a new band like looking to start a name? Just a name. <laughs> Make it a long one that no one's got. <laughs> a long one that no one's What matters more is that you write bangers. It doesn't matter what your fucking name is. As long as it's not... I can't think of anything that bad. As, as long as it's not captives, yeah, that would be great. Motorhead. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm going to have a band called Beatles 2, Electric Boogaloo. <laughs> well, yeah, if you, if you put a number at the end of something, Blink-182, you know, it works. <laughs> Blink-183. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Blink-420, I, I would listen to them all day. <laughs> Blink-420, yeah, that's a good one. Okay, so um, uh, as far as, since we brought up uh, Captives, uh, now going by uh, uh, Caskets, yeah. right? Caskets. Right. Um, uh, have you guys reached out to them at all? Have, have you kind of made amends in that situation? Maybe go on tour together? You think that would be cool? Bury the hatchet. We'd be open to touring together. Why not? Fuck yeah. Fuck it. Uh, yeah, look, I don't, like I said before, I don't think there was ever, like, great animosity. I, th- I don't think both bands are, like, probably big enough to really, like, get egos involved anyway. So it was actually... It was done and dusted in, like, three days, and that was about it. And then we haven't heard anything. I'm sure they've moved on and done bigger, better things. So, like... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They were touring Australia like two months ago and had a great time by the look. So I think, yeah, that's pretty much it. All the best to them. Well, guys, thank you so much for joining me today. Um, we're gonna we look forward to your show here uh, at Shanghai Mel Life House. Also, you are playing a few days in Guangzhou. Yeah, Guangzhou. Uh, yeah, I think they're not doing the Guangzhou show now. It was just they're just doing Beijing. Um, so we're going straight to Tokyo and then to um, onto Osaka and Kobe. So. Um, yeah. That yeah, that'll but be that'll be us. Back. But we're gonna come back. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, you will definitely be back. We'll bring you here ourselves if we have to. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much for, for talking with me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Of course, of course. Oh, okay. Hey, cheers. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. Gambe. Yeah.